Well, are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi and I've been to Morrison's. Come and have a look what I bought. So these are new and I had to get these new Morrison steak pies or steak bakes even. I'll put my goggles on in a minute. And they were a pound for two. So I had to get them. I had to get them because they're new into Morrison's. And I went to Aldi and I thought, well, let's have a bit of it. Let's have a bit of a steak bake off here. So I got to pick these up, Crestwood's two steak pies and these were 85 pence. So they're 15 pence cheaper than Morrison's steak bake. So it has to be, uh, it had to, I had to do it. Um, I've done a lot of pies, a lot of, um, a lot of pies, a lot of bakes, a lot of steak bakes, but they're all new coming out these. So they've got to be, they've got to be looked at, haven't they? And to see if they're any good. Well, Morrison's are good, aren't they? Let's be fair. Morrison's are good. And I tell you what, Aldi, these are good as well. These are tasty, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see. So let's get them open and see what we've got. So we're up, we're up in here in Cumbria. Look at that little tab. Look, oh, that is, the, oh, look at that. Perfect. We're up in Cumbria and it hasn't stopped raining. I know there's been floods in areas, so, you know, I hope you're okay out there. We're all right here, there we go. Let me get a bit of better light. It's raining again and I can't, I'll get some natural light. This is that. There we go, look at that. <laughs> they don't look too good, do they, when they're frozen? I'll be honest, they don't look too good. So I'll pop one back, pop one back and let's get this one open. Better not get them mixed up, had we? Better not get them mixed up. So let's get this open. No little pull tab on here, I'm afraid, but there we go. We can't have everything, can we? Let's get these open. Now, I couldn't fit these in the frig in the freezer. I'm gonna have to get a new freezer. So I had to put them in my fridge. So there we go, that is them. Let me get a bit of better light for you. They've got like a yellow coating on the top of them, aren't they? Some sort of like egg wash, I would imagine. Uh, and these don't look so this is the uh, this is the Aldi and this is the Morrison's so you can see the difference in the color there look can't you you can see the difference in the color so what I've got to do as well I've got to have a look a comparison between what I'll do there we go look I'll do a in um nutritional information comparison look um, if you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go for it. In the Morrisons, there's no artificial colours or flavours. It says on the front. Um, and let's see how many calories are in the 349 in the Morrisons and 416 in the Crestwood Bakes. So it's 280 grams in the Morrisons. Plays 280 grams. So there we go, look. So they should be the same weight. Should we do a weigh off? Should we do a way off? Yes, I think we should. We'll do a way off to see if they are. There are the um, ingredients for the Aldi. Very, very small. Cooked diced beef, 29%. You want to pause that and have a look at that. Uh, some allergies in there as well. Barley, milk and wheat. Uh, let's have a look at the Morrisons. There are the ingredients there, look. Puff. Puff pastry filled with beef steaks, so that's 24%, so it's less, less beef in the Morrison's one. You're paying 15p extra as well. And there's, um, so how long in the oven? 25 to 30 minutes, gas six. Oh, better not get them mixed up, had we? So they're the, the Aldi and they're them. So let's have a way off, oh, what's going on here now? 24 grams, right, I'm going to have to start this again, what's going on here with this, right, let's start this again, so we're going to put the Aldi one on, there we go, 149 grams look for the Aldi one, that's the Aldi one, and now let's put the Morrisons on, 161 grams, uh, 160 grams for the Morrisons, saying that though that's frozen, and this isn't so, there we go, 
that's pretty much going to take no time at all to cook. So I'll, I'll bring you back when they're done. They're not out yet, they're not out yet. I just, um, I've just got something to tell you basically. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube at the moment. The other day, um, about two days ago, um, I got, in one day, I got 700, I'm just saying 700 subscribers subscribed to the channel in one day and I just thought, I, I just didn't understand what was going on. I put a few things on my Facebook, Ball Foodie Guy, and Instagram and I thought, Maybe it's um, get the reach is going out to people off there and they were subscribing. So I put a, a, a communi communication out saying thank you very much for 14,000 foodies who've joined. And last night when I was going to bed, about half past 11, I noticed my subscriber count was going down. <laughs> it was going down from 14,120 it started going down to 14 to 39 to 13 8 and then it went up back back up again to 39 back down to 13 7 and it went down to, it's gone down to 13 5 now so i basically on that day of getting 700 foodies who've joined the channel the youtube have just scrubbed them off so i have no idea why I, i'm going to leave it for a few days to see if the, the, you know, they might get reinstated or I've no idea. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Uh, like I say, I'll leave it for a few days and then I'm going to, I'm going to message them and just say, you know, what, what's, what's going on? What's the, what's, you know, basically what, what's happening? Because I've took that post off now and it, I, I, I don't, I, it makes me feel bad <clears throat> and I don't like it and I don't know why they've done that. So I just thought I'd let you know, just in case you're thinking, well, he had 14,000 and now he's back to 13 and a half and it's got nothing to do with me at all. I have no, it's just YouTube. I don't know if they've done like an audit, you know, if, if maybe you're out there, you know, any, you know, leave a message in the comments if you, if you, you know, if you're a YouTuber yourself and you, you, because, and you watch this and it's happened to you, I don't know, you see, they've only been doing it four months. So I just thought I'd share that with you, um, yeah, because you, you guys are the ones watching, you see, and uh, you, it's, you know, you guys need to know, so th thank you very much for watching. So these are cooking now, they're, well, they're in the oven warming up, or are they cooking? I don't know, are they already cooked? Are they frozen? Uh, I don't think they are, are they? Anyway, they're in the oven, so I'll bring you back when they are done. So they're done, I've uh, done them in the oven, uh, obviously, uh, they're frozen and they're looking good and they're smelling good, it smells like a baker's in here, it's, oh, it doesn't smell good, it's getting me salivating. Did them for, uh, what, about 26 minutes each? And they're both, they've got seepages. <laughs> they're both seeped out. So, um, if you like this kind of crazy content, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, if you've not subscribed, then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. And then you'll you receive all the video notifications. <laughs> Get quite a few saying, I missed you, I missed your video. Uh, I missed your video. I says, well, hit that bell icon and you won't miss a thing. And uh, I've got a message about the comments as well. It's quite like, like an informative uh, video, this one really, isn't it? But I can't answer every single comment. I spent all day yesterday on my phone and my good lady I was nearly in the doghouse. I was nearly in the doghouse. So I can't answer every comment, I'm afraid. I really can't answer every comment. So um, I, I won't be answering every comment now. I do apologize. Um, I'll, I'll try and answer people who are subscribed to the channel. Um, I will try and answer people. I know people who have subscribed to the channel, so you're more, you're, everyone's important, but the people who have subscribed are more important. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Um, so I'll be answering, your comments will be coming in the top of the list. Public subscribers' uh, comments will be getting answered. I do apologise to everyone else. I can't answer every single comment, I'm afraid. Now I can't. Um, so still keep the comments coming in. Obviously, if you sub subscribe, then I'll, I'll get your comment. So I really do apologise. I really, I hope you understand, but I don't want to get in the doghouse. I want to spend more time with my kids as well. 
I love answering comments. I love speaking to you all, but you know, there's my wife said this. You, you're on the fine line here, so I've got to listen to my good lady, haven't I? Anyway, let's have a look at these pies. Here we are, though. So this is the Morrisons. This is new. This one here, and this is the Aldi look. The Aldi one. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. There we go. I can hold that now. It's cooled down. So we've got on the on the this one here, the, the light coloured one is the is the Morrisons and, and the one with the egg wash on looking good. That's looking a bit anemic, that one, isn't it? That one's looking good. So let's get into these pies. Slices, bakes, whatever they are. So let's chop this one in half. So it's it's had a bit of a seepage. So there we go. Have a look in there. I'll chop this one in half as well. Oh, it's coming out the back. Coming out the back door. <laughs> there we go. Have a look at that. So it's taste test time, isn't it? Let's see what they taste like. Are we in shot there? Yeah, we can see. Still in shot. Taste, taste, test, time. So I'll go with the uh, Morrison's first. Morrison's steak bake. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Got a bit of steak there as well. Look at that. Mmm. That gravy is beautiful. God, oh, it's lovely. That steak bakes lovely. Morrison's. Oh. So I'll get a glass of water. And I'll try this Aldi one. Aldi one's 15p cheaper. Oh. Mm. God, that's lovely as well. Oh, both lovely. <laughs> Get another bit of the Aldi one, look. Oh, right up. Hmm. God, they're both lovely. They really are both lovely. I can't tell them apart on taste at all. I can't tell them apart on taste. I mean, it's a draw on taste, I'll be fair. But value for money, got to go with the Aldi, isn't it? Value for money, it's it's cheaper. It's only 15 pence, but still, if you're on a budget, 15 pence, every little penny, every penny makes a difference. Um, and I can't tell them apart in taste. I can't tell them apart in taste. So, and they're, they're, they're good as well. They're a, they're a good, oh, they're good eight and a half out of 10. Good eight and a half out of 10, buy them again. But I'd buy the um, I'd buy the Aldi because it's cheaper. I'm just that's just me. <laughs> or you know if you if you if you don't care then get the Morrisons. So take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.